Hello everyone and welcome to Flowers by Enda's 13th live Facebook stream on Ooh, Monday spooky. evening. <laughs> um, glad you all are looking in and those who are watching afterwards. Um, I hope you enjoy the video I'm going to do. So as always, um, I start off with what's available in the shop. I'm going to stop rocking and um, I haven't got a huge selection in today. Um, I was a little bit disappointed with the range I could get in the market this morning. So um, I haven't a huge amount made up. I got a little bit bombed today for a Monday. And uh, so Paul's given us a look around. As you can see there, um, there's, you know, vase arrangements, bouquets in boxes, in wraps, in vases, not in basket arrangements and then over here then um, there's a nice little teacup arrangement there with roses ah. and and that type of thing in it there that's cutie very nice yeah <laughs> so anyhow without further ado as we say i'll have one um, quick look and then i'll join you yeah and my um anniversary bouquet i got two weeks ago is still going strong that's disgraceful. Ten days is all I say, not two weeks. Well, it's still looking two great. <laughs> no wonder I'm not making no money as I like. Yeah. Um, anyhow. And there's Oshin. There's Oshin. Hiya, boy. How you doing? Hi, buddy. So there you go. Bit of a selection, not a, the normal full selection, as I say, a little bit. Ah, there's today. loads. Um, but anyhow, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a unity candle arrangement. Now I've already started the foliage part of it because it just takes a little bit too long. So like that, it's what we call a long and low, hence it's low and it's long. Um, it's, a, it's a flat back, so there's no foliage coming out the other side of this. And then the three candle of arrangements, this is obviously for a wedding. So you have the two tapered and the one fat candle in the middle. So I have it done up with different, uh, a, a kind of a spotted laurel. There's pheasant berry, leather leaf, palm leaf, salal, and just a nice selection. So I'm just going to shine, shine it up. I don't think the dog is asthmatic either. And if he is, <laughs> oh well. Tough. He's been all right so far. <laughs> all right so far. So today, anyhow, I'm going to use a selection of different colors. Um, so I'm going to use these uh, lovely deep purple delphiniums yeah and um, for some reason i nearly said orchid there but not we'll get orchid. over there and have a look at these so days. we do it kind of long-ish welcome our three viewers oh hello three viewers say who you are say everything say hello and um, i'm going to guess one is Babs edwards one is hazel stokes burn and the other is God, I haven't a clue. <laughs> Four viewers. Four viewers. No, I'm lost now. So, there you go. One in there, one that length, one in the middle. So, you kind of get... And then this one here, it's a little bit raggedy, but he will just go in there. So, as I say, it's a mixture of different types of flowers. Now, this is a piece of hydrangea that was once upon a time... Oh, apart from him. But even at that, that's about half a head of a hydrangea, and I just split it down so I get three individual pieces from it. Do you, is it okay at that angle there, Paul? Yeah, yeah it is, yeah, it's cool. Okay. I'm gonna kind so of move there, around a bit. One in the middle in front of the can the fat candle, and uh, one at the other end of the little candle. There. Very good. So that's that. Now, this is an older orchid. And I'm just using this purely because it was in the arrangement we did last week. Um, and I used it in the wedding fair that I had on Sunday up in um, Tull Ferris. And I'm just going to put the other half, of the way I split that one stem, so I'm getting value in two places out of it. So that's that there. This is a lovely oak leaf. So, room Paul. Cool, yeah. Okay. So this is the, the, the pinky one. Is this dyed or is yes. this natural? No. Di no. Okay. Have you seen that one grown on trees? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, rolling eyes to heaven. Um, that's the orange one. And this is the purple one. And you can also get it in silver and pale pink and Very cool. loads of colours. But it adds a nice dart of colour into... Um, the arrangement as you'll see as I'm going along with this one. 
just need to pop a bit of color into it. Oh, there we go. So the wedding fair was on up in Tulfaris yesterday. I believe there was some kind of sporting event on yesterday, some thing on Crow Park. Some Harbor. sporting event, one of the highlights of oh, the GAA calendar. It was useless. It was fantastic. It was simple. It was exciting. For who are you? Don't tell me you're... I'm a man from the West. You're not from the West. Galway. Oh, are you? Yeah, I was That's originally uh, from Galway, yeah. Right. So, so I uh, put on that dub, posh Dublin yeah. Well, I've been living in Dublin a long time, so mm. I was kind of a bit of a neutral when I was watching it. A neutral. But I was hoping Mayo. To be honest, I know you wouldn't like this, but I was hoping Mayo would sneak it because they've been there so many times, and it's nice for somebody else to win. So, but I think in the replay now, Dublin will take it. I think. But now, in fairness. I would uh, after the display that I saw yesterday by Dublin, um, I think they were very lucky to get a draw. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was an appalling match. I only saw the second half of it, and I thought, God Almighty! Um, now, I'm not a I'm not a GAA supporter, but like like everybody else, like any sport, you like a good match, something that, good competition, good play. It just wasn't there. It just wasn't working for them. But uh, and we have all these people from Canada watching in, going, "Oh wow, we'll have to watch that uh, next our uh, Sunday week, isn't it?" Oh, you mean from Glenamadi and all those places <laughs> as well? Glenamadi as well, yeah. Now, so I'm just finishing this off. As you can see, the colours have. It's a lovely country style. Um, the a country style arrangement. The gerberas that I'm using here, the black um, central gerberas. Or just add, adding a nice pop of colour uh, into it. Wow, isn't that amazing, guys? Look at that. Look at all that colour. It's so easy when you know how. And I know how. That sounds stupid, but I know. Right in. See exactly what's going on here. So, so I'm really, really flying at this because I have to go to Turn York for 7 o'clock. Um, and that's why I had this greened up beforehand. Um, I love doing these videos. Paul's great encouragement for me to do these videos. And soon we're, we're thinking about streaming live on Twitter and Facebook at the same time. If I can fit two cameras on this tripod. <laughs> yeah, and this is it. Then we're just going global after that. Like, I'll nearly be paying you just to watch me. <laughs> you know, watch this space. You'll be able to come up to me then when I'm at the BAFTAs and the... You know, give me words and say, oh my God, you know, I used to know him. <laughs> but you still do. Yeah. You'll always know me. That's the main thing. So I'm just popping in a bit of, um, oh God, did you hear that crack? That was the, um, I just broke the uh, part of the um, orchid. Oh no, disastrous, right? Disastrous is right. So again, Gypsophily is very, very popular for uh, weddings. And now, even though it has been around such a long time and it became so unpopular so untrendy for a long long time it was considered a very cheap flower which it really is but, it's nice. but it is lovely yeah it just adds a nice airiness to um to the what you call it the arrangement ah. no so that's roughly it so that's that's really nice now so what would go with that wedding wise would be something like those little vases over there they're all the connected to it that and then also second, wow look at those guys they are nice this is a big which is a vase vase or vase oh, yeah exactly Good question so um, <laughs> this is also uh, what they call a vintage style bouquet now it's a bit battered because i used it yesterday um, and that this style of uh, vintage style um, hand tie bouquet would be something like this for a wedding. Um, or you could use, sorry, have this one, which is rather cute. That one there ah, is very nice as well for um, a bridesmaid's bouquet or a flower girl's bouquet. I never really suggest having all gypsophily for... Um, for a bridal bouquet i think you need a little bit more volume in it so uh, whether it's adding in hydrangeas or peonies or orchids or roses or all of those but that's kind of roughly it 
Um, and, and that's about it. Sorry, it's going to be very, very short today. As you can gather by my voice, I'm in a bit of a hurry. So <laughs> um, that's it. That's what a Unity Canada arrangement is. That's the shape of it. You can use whatever colour you want, but anyhow, hence. So get in touch for all oh, your and if And if anybody would like to know the price on that, um, it's 70 euros. So it's 70 euros for the lot, including the candles. And if you have here? your own candles for a wedding, um, it's 50 euros. Very good. Alrighty. 50 euro for that. That yeah. is phenomenal. Value. It's a lovely, lovely arrangement. Very good. So All right, we so say goodbye. Yeah, and don't, see don't forget flaresbyend.com, the webpage. And then what was the other thing I was supposed to mention, Paul? Uh, no. We have the promotion 10% uh, off on the Flowers by End site running till the 25th. Oh, it's back on again? The 25th. So it's a few oh, more days. On the 18th. The 25th, I think. Okay, on the 25th. There you go. And yeah, you can also look up the Facebook page. Hi, Mark. Um, you can look up the Facebook page, um, and or not the Facebook page, the flowersbyenda.com page, and um, if there's something on it that you like, but rather talk to us on the phone, do so. Anyhow, okay. bye, guys. Thank bye. you so much for watching. Bye.